Thanks for joining us today. My name is Miss Sarah and I'm with the Auburn Day School. And this is my daughter. My name is Miss Katie. And she's going to help us learn about matter today. There are three states of matter. There's a solid, a liquid, and a gas. How are we going to learn about matter? Using our five senses. I know what they are. Hey, okay. They are see, hear, smell, and touch. Okay, see, hear, hear smell, smell, what? Yeah. What is it? When you taste something, you, you use your tongue. Oh, taste. Taste, yes. See, see hear, hear, smell, smell ah, taste. touch. Touch. <laughs> well, we're going to do ah. okay. I think they'll remember. Don't you think you'll remember that that ah, is taste? I think they will. They're pretty smart. In fact, I know a song about it. Do you want to learn it? Sure. Okay. I have five senses that I use. I use them every day. See, hear, smell, at touch. See, hear, smell, at touch. See, hear, smell, at touch. I use them every day. Okay, let's try it. I have five senses that I use. I use them every day. See, hear, smell, at touch. See, hear, smell, at touch. See, hear, smell, at touch. I use them every day. Well, we're gonna learn a little bit more about the states of matter using our five senses in just a second. Matter comes in three forms. Some people call them states. Let's go through those. There's a solid, a liquid, and a gas. Solid can be hard. That doesn't mean it's tricky hard. It just means it's solid hard, like that ball right there. That ball is a solid. But let's use our five senses and see if we can discover a little bit more about it. Can I see that ball? I can. Yeah, we can see it. Can you describe the ball using what you see? What color is the ball? That's right, it's blue. What shape is the ball? The ball is a 3D shape called a sphere. Great job. So we can use our eyes to tell that it's a solid. Um, can we use our, hmm, see here. Can I hear the solid? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know. Whoa, I heard that. I can hear it. Yeah, you can hear that solid when you bounce it. So we did see, hear, smell. Can I smell it? Let me try. Oh, it smells like rubber. It also smells like my backyard because that's where I got that ball from. See, hear, smell. Uh, I don't think we should taste the ball. Yeah, probably if not. It's not food and it's not water. We probably shouldn't taste it. I agree. So we're not going to use that scent. Okay, see, hear, smell, ah, touch. Touch. We can touch that ball. Woo, that has a good texture to it. I love it. So a ball is a solid. So is a car. Any other solids around Let's here? See. Hmm. A marker. Yep, yeah, that marker is a solid. Boy, Katie's going on a solid hunt. Oh. An orange. An orange is definitely a solid. And I like that orange too because it has another state of matter in it. Ooh. Do you know what it is? Something else inside? Yeah, inside that orange. I don't know. It has liquid inside it. Where do we get orange juice from? Oh, from oranges. An orange, that's right. So our first state of matter is a solid, like the ball. ball. Our second one is liquid. Um, oh, I've got a liquid. You sure do. So. What kind of liquid is that? Mm. It's milk. That's right, it is milk. We use milk all the time around here. Let's use our five senses and discover milk. Hmm, can I see it? Yep, we can see it. Tell me a describing word about that milk, Katie. Um, it's white mm -hmm. and it's moving. It is, I can't see through it though. No. If I had water, I could see through it, but milk, I cannot. Is it still a liquid? Yeah. It is, yeah. Because, oh, we forgot to go over these. A liquid is wet, you can pour it, 
and it keeps its size, but not its shape. Okay, so we saw it. Can I hear it? Mm, maybe when we pour it, we maybe. can hear it. Can I smell it? Mmm, smells like breakfast. Can I taste it? Well, sure. Give it a try. Mmm, that's yummy. Okay, so I can taste it, and I can taste that that is definitely milk, and it is definitely a liquid, because it went right down there. So we have see, hear, smell, and touch. And I can touch it, but I'm probably, oh, I'm gonna go ahead. I can, oh, that is cold, and it is definitely wet. Now, according to our states of matter, we can pour it, and it keeps its size, but not its shape. So, what, how can I help right. you? This container looks kind of like a circle on the top. So when we have the milk in here, it kind of looks like it's making a circle. It's actually called a cylinder. When we pour it, let's see if we can hear and use our sense to hear the milk and see what happens. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I could hear it. I could too, that's so awesome. So we did our seeing, our hearing, and our, but wait a minute, it doesn't look the same as it did in here. It doesn't, now it looks more like a cube, kind of like a square, because it's in a different container, but, it's the same amount of milk. And it's still a, a liquid. liquid. A liquid keeps its size, but not its shape. Um, what would happen, I did this a little bit earlier. What would happen if we took that liquid and poured it into this container? Okay, let's see if let's it see. keeps its shape. <laughs> did not keep it no. shape. <laughs> So sometimes liquids can spill. We probably need to be a little bit more careful with liquids. Thank you. So we have so far two states of matter, our solid, our liquid, and the last one is gas. Now gas is harder to tell. It has no shape. It is floats in the air. In fact, air is a gas. It's hard to see. And it fills a container? Hmm, I don't know about that one. An example may be steam, like if you were cooking on your oven, I mean on your stove top and you were boiling water, you might see some gas coming out of the water. Or if you went and had a campfire, you might see what coming out of the fire. What would you see? Smoke. Yeah, you would. You'd see smoke. Katie has a great example of gas. Let's watch right. it. Here's our decorative candle right here. Okay, and let's see what happens when we blow the candle out. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, I love it. That's a perfect example of gas. It has no shape. It's kind of going everywhere. It floats in the air. air. It's hard to see. And then it fills a container. Wait a minute, can I, can I catch that gas? Sure. Let's try it. Oh, um, might have to go quick. Whoa. Can we do it, can we do it? Oh, I don't I might know. have to light the candle one more time. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's milk. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? We're going to do an experiment later where we're going to catch gas. So if we're going to do it later, you need to continue watching. Okay, sing along with us as we sing the matter song. There's matter over here. There's matter over there. Liquid, solid, or a gas. There's matter everywhere. A solid keeps its size, a solid keeps its shape. What you see is what you get, a solid keeps its shape. A liquid you can pour, it could spill on your floor. It keeps its size but not its shape, a liquid you could pour. Gas is in the air, you can't see it but it's there. It flows and blows right through your nose and fits in anywhere. There's matter over here. There's matter over there, liquid, solid, or a gas. There's matter everywhere. Should we sing it again? Let's do it. One more time. There's matter over here. There's matter over there, liquid, solid, or a gas. There's matter everywhere. A solid keeps its size. A solid keeps its shape. What you see is what you get, a solid keeps its shape. A liquid you can pour, it could spill on your floor. It keeps its size but not its shape, a liquid you could pour. 
Gas is in the air. You can't see it, but it's there. It flows and blows right through your nose. It fits in anywhere. There's matter over here. There's matter over there. Liquid, solid, or a gas. There's matter everywhere. Great job, friends. Hey friends, I'm so glad you're back with us. We are gonna play a game outside. It's the States of Matter game. Are you ready to learn how to play? I'm ready. Let's check. I pay attention with my eyes. I pay attention with my ears. I pay attention by staying quiet. I'm ready, how about you? Eyes watching? Check. Ears listening? Check. Quiet now. Check, check. Y'all are ready. Okay, here's how we play. One person is going to be it. For this game, I'm going to be it. If you play at home, you can be it. Take turns with other people you're playing with. That way you get to have the fun of moving around too. The in person chooses a state to matter. Let's review them again. You have solid, solid, which can be like a ball. You have liquid, which can be water or milk. And you have gas, which can be steam or smoke. Now you get to act these out. May I have the cards back? Let's see if Katie can act out these states of matter. Our first one is a solid. Now a solid, does it move around? No, a solid stays still and it keeps its size and its shape. Is she doing that? She is, she makes a pretty good solid. The next one is liquid. Now remember a liquid can melt or it pour, wake up, or it pours. So Katie's on the ground because she is a liquid that has been poured out on the ground. Now, if I had a container for her, like a bucket or something, she could get in the bucket or a laundry basket. You could pretend like you're a liquid in the laundry basket. All right. Hey, what's the matter? I'm a liquid. <laughs> okay, stand up. And we have the other one, which is like my favorite. It is gas. Gas floats around in the air. Is she doing a pretty good job? And it doesn't stay in one place. I could capture it in a container, but I don't have a container big enough to capture that gas. Now, you are gonna act out these three states of matter. Let's go through them real quick. Solid, liquid, gas. Liquid, solid. Gas. That's pretty fast. So <laughs> what we're gonna do is in between each one, when I want her to stop being one of those states of matter, I'm gonna say, hey, what's the matter? And she's gonna freeze, but I'm not gonna let you freeze. That's a solid. You need to run around. Oh, okay. Now, while you're running around, you can't be making noise because you have to hear when I say the next state of matter. Okay, are y'all ready? Here we go. Gas. Hey, what's the matter? Awesome. Solid. Hey, what's the matter? There she goes, running around again. Trick her. Gas. Ooh. Hey, what's the matter? Liquid. Hey, what's the matter? Hey, I think you need to run a little bit more around the yard. She's got a lot of energy out there. Hey, what's the matter? You're doing it. Liquid. Hey, what's the matter? Solid. Hey, what's the matter? Gas. Awesome. Hey, you can show us all three states of matter. Hey, you can stop running now because I know you're probably tired. <laughs> she did pretty good. You guys can play this at home. It's called, hey, what's the matter? You remember, you can do a solid, liquid, or gas. And in between, <laughs> you say, hey, what's the matter? Now, here's another twist on it. Instead of jogging in place, you can tiptoe. You can pretend like you're bouncing a ball. You can do jumping jacks, whatever you make up. If you're it, you get to be the one who chooses. So, hey, y'all have fun with that game. It's called, hey, what's, what's the, the matter? matter? Hey, I'm glad you came back because now it's time to practice what we've learned. We've been talking about the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. 
And I have a box here that has all three of those things in it. Some of the things are solids, some are liquid, and there may even be a gas in that box. So to play this game, if you wanna play it at home, watch first, see how we play it, and then you might wanna play it at home. We have a box. I found this box in my closet. You may have a box at home that an adult says you can use. Let's see what's in it. Miss Katie, open okay. it up, pull one thing out, and then let's see if we can tell what's the matter. All right, what's the matter? First of all, what is that? I'm looking at it and I see that it is round and it has spikes on it. Um, I can't hear it. Can Let you feel stop. it? I can feel it. Oh, oh, it's soft. It's kind of a soft spiky. <gasps> I know what this is. I'm definitely not gonna taste it because this is one of my dog toys for my dog, Tucker. Um, Ooh, don't taste that. No, I probably wouldn't <laughs> taste it. Let's see, is it a liquid? Can I pour it? No. It has shape. It's not floating in the air. So it must be a solid. That's right, it's a solid. It can be hard, it keeps its safe, shape, and its size. So we're gonna put this right here because it is a solid. Let's do the next right. one. What's the matter? Whoa. Hmm. I look at it and it's got a bottle, a container, but there's something in that bottle. I think that's what we're talking about. I think so too. You may have this in your kitchen at home. What is it? You're right, it's dishwashing detergent. It's called Dawn. Um, let's test it. I'm seeing it. Can I hear it? A little, not much. Mm. Can I smell it? I love the smell of this. Oh, it smells so clean. Can I taste it? No, no that would not be good. Don't. But I can touch it and that'll help me a little bit. Oh, oh, it's wet. Mm. Which one of our states of matter is wet? Mm. Guess. No. 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 It's not solid. Oh, it must be liquid. liquid. Oh, could we pour it? We did. We could. And it kept it its size, but not its shape because it's. In, sometimes I use that up and, um, well, if I put it in a different container, it takes a different shape. It takes a different shape, so it would be a liquid. All right, so our Dawn is a liquid. liquid. We're going to see if that'll fit right there. Yeah, right there. Okay, let's go. Mm. <gasps> I remember this one. Yeah, that one was a good one. I love that one. I'm seeing it and it looks like a banana. Um, I was thinking strawberry. <laughs> I can it's see it is an orange. Yeah, you can tell because it's orange and it's round. Ooh, can I smell it? Mm. Oh, smell. Makes oh, me hungry. Yeah, me too. I could taste it, but I'd have to peel it, and I don't know if we have the time for that. Um, I can touch it. It's round and kind of cold. It's a little squishy. So, can I pour it? Not no. right now. Does it float in the air? Definitely no. not. So, it's not a gas. It's not a liquid. It's a solid. It is a solid. Good job. All right, so let's see if we have anything else in there. Ooh, this one's kind of weird. It's a container. Well, the container is definitely a solid, but there's something inside that container. Hmm. It's really hard to see. It is hard to see. <gasps> Wait a minute. That's one of our clues. It's hard to see. Oh, it must be the air in this container. What would the air in this container be? Is it floating around or is it stuck at the bottom? I think it's floating. I don't see anything at the bottom. Yeah, it's hard to see. It fills a container, container. and it has no shape. Should we let it out? Yeah, let's let it out. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> Wait, well, it's still hard to see. It is hard to see. This one must be gas. gas. Excellent job, Katie. Hey, I think we can do maybe two more. Okay. I love how we're using our five senses with them too. I love these. It's a marker. Yeah, markers. Um, can you, is it, well, can you pour a marker? Let's see. Let's see. Pour. Nothing's no. happening. Can't pour it. Um, does it float in the air? <laughs> no. no, it does not. <laughs> does it keep its size and its shape? Yeah. It does. So it must be a solid. In fact, I used that solid to make that chart. 
Last one. Ooh. Last thing in our matter box. What's the matter? I bet you're using this at home right now. We are. Oh, it's anybody know hand what that is? sanitizer or Germex, whatever yeah. you call it. It's hand sanitizer. And what I love about that, let's use our senses though. Can I see it? Yeah, it's I green. Can. can I hear it? Check it for me. Ooh, let's see if you can hear that. Uh-huh, I can hear it. It sounds, you know what? You can probably, you might have to open it to pour it. That's kind of, oh, there it is. Do you see it on my hands? So Miss Katie can pour it. Um, oh, I just touched it and it is very wet. <gasps> I know what it is. Let's see if they can guess what it is. What is think? it a solid, a liquid, or a gas? What do you think? Liquid! I right. heard liquid too. They are so smart. So we have solids, liquids, and gas. You guys just play the game, what's, what's the, the matter? matter? If you want to get a box at home and try it yourself, we would love that. And if you want to take a picture of your What's the Matter box and post it to Auburn Day School, we'd love to see what yours looks like. Have fun playing What's, what's the, the Matter. matter? experiment called the dancing raisins. Are you ready? Let's check. I pay attention with my eyes. I pay attention with my ears. I pay attention staying quiet. I'm ready. How about you? Let's check. Are your eyes watching? Check. Are your ears listening? Check. Is your mouth quiet? You are ready. For our dancing raisins experiment, you are going to need some things that you might have around the house. Katie's going to give us the directions because when we're following an experiment, we want to make sure we get every part just right. So she has her directions, she's going to read it, and I'm going to do it. I can't wait for you to see because we're going to find all three states of matter. What are the three states of matter again? Good question. We have our solid, which could be your glass. It could also be a raisin. And hmm, what else do we have? Mm, the next we, one is liquid. A liquid is wet. What things Yeah. Like the water's wet. The Sprite is wet. And gas. I don't see gas yet. Maybe the experiment will tell us that later. I hope so. All right, what do we do, Miss Katie? Okay, step one, pour water in one container and Sprite in the other. All right, here we go. Ooh, we can use our five senses. Okay. I bet you will be able to see it and you'll be able to hear it. Let's Listen close. I heard it. I love it, super. Okay, and then the Sprite goes in the other container. Okay, this is one of my favorite sounds. We can see it. Now let's hear it. That is a good sound. Listen. Did you hear the bubbles? I did too. All right, now what do I do with the Sprite? Do I drink it? Because no, I sure no, want to no. taste it. No, no, we don't taste anything in science experiments. You've got to pour it in the glass. Okay, here we go. Should I pour it in this one? No, no, this glass. Okay. I still hear it. Look, oh, Miss Katie, I see gas. I see it in the form of bubbles. bubbles. The gas is inside and it's coming up. That's carbon dioxide. Okay, let's see. Step two, pour one third a cup of raisins into the water. Okay, I don't, can you get a measuring cup out of that drawer for me? Sure. We did not have that ready to go. That white one right there. Aha, third cup. Good job, Miss Katie. So we have a third of a cup. Some raisins. Boy, I'm glad I have two boxes of raisins. Oh, pour it in. Um, which one do I put it in? And it says to put it into the water. All right. Was it this one or that one? That because one. the other Sprite has the, the bubbles. bubbles. Okay, I have a third of a cup. Are you ready? Here we go. Are we watching? Yes. Okay. Well, I see some bubbles right. in there, but you know what? What are they doing? What happened to the raisins? What do you see? 
And it's a little boring. It is a little bit boring. It looks like they went straight to the bottom. Mm -hmm. They didn't float. Mm -hmm. And they're certainly not dancing. They're not dancing. <sighs> maybe this is just our one we're supposed to look at. And maybe this one will be different. Maybe it will be. Okay, the next step says to pour one third a cup of raisins into the Sprite. Okay. So now we get to try it in the Sprite and see what happens. I sure love okay. to use that sense of taste. Not right now. We're using our sense of sight. Okay. I'm ready. Ready? Let's see what happens. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Ah! <laughs> oh, Whoa. they're dancing. Some of them are dancing up. <gasps> what else do you see? What do you see? Hmm. Oh, look at them going. Oh my goodness, wow. I love it. What's all over those raisins? Hmm. The raisins have gas around them. They're bubbles. The gas has been captured into the bubble. Now, I like to call these bubble jackets. Do you like to wear jackets? I do too. So the raisins have bubble jackets on and when the bubble jackets are on the raisins, they float to the they top. Go? Yeah, those are perfect. Oh, that one <laughs> fell. They're going up and down, up and down. Yeah. So when the bubbles, bubble jackets get up to the top, sometimes those bubble jackets will pop and then the raisins, the raisins will. Start down. Yeah. It seems to be going on for a while. Quite a while. That's kind of cool. So let's kind of look at the difference here. Are these dancing raisins? No. No. Are these dancing raisins? Yes. Think in your mind. What was the difference between this liquid and this liquid? Think for a minute before you speak. Katie, do you want to tell me what you see? This one had the bubbles in it, and this one didn't have the bubbles in it when you poured right. it. There are a few bubbles kind of popping up here. But not a lot. Yeah, those raisins do definitely are not wearing the fashionable bubble, bubble jackets. jackets. These are wearing the bubble jackets. I love it. And they are still dancing. They are. They are getting down in there. You may want to try this at home. In this experiment, we have seen a solid, the container. And the raisins. Yes, and the raisins. And we have seen a liquid water and Sprite. And we are seeing a gas. What was the gas? All of the bubbles. That's right. This gas is car called carbon dioxide. When they make this stuff at the factories, they pump that carbon dioxide in and then they capture it. Kind of like we captured that gas with the container, the air. They captured that carbon dioxide. So when you open it, it goes whoosh, and that's some of that gas escaping. This was a cool experience. Did you like it? I did. Makes me want to do some dancing like the raisins too. All right. You know what? We have a game that's called What's the Matter? And you might get to do it. And you might get to dance. We also have a video called The Freeze Dance that's on there. So you may want to dance a little if you're tired of Feeling like the raisins. That's right. If you're <laughs> feeling like the raisins right now. Hey, y'all did a great job watching, listening, and staying quiet. Remember, you might try this at home with an adult. Thanks so much. All right, we're ready for an experiment that goes with our states of matter. Let's review real quick. A solid is a state of matter. It can be hard, it keeps its size, it keeps its shape. We have a liquid that's wet, you can pour it, it keeps its size but not its shape. And a gas has no shape. It's air, it can be air. It floats in the air and it fills a container. A car is a solid, milk is a liquid, and steam and smoke are gas. We're gonna see those things in our experiment today too. We are going to have a solid, which is a water bottle. We're also gonna have a liquid, and our liquid today is vinegar. Ooh. Let's use our senses, smell that. That's stinky. It does. It reminds me of coloring Easter eggs. <laughs> so we have vinegar and we have baking soda. We also have <gasps> balloons. Yeah. And you know what? Really, a balloon is a solid too because I can't pour a balloon and I can see a balloon, so it's not gas. So it's a solid, but what's going to be cool about this one is it's going to change stretchy. shape. Yeah, it's stretchy.
right, Miss Katie, um, are they ready? Do you think they're ready for our experiment? I think they're ready. Let's double check. I pay attention with my eyes. I pay attention with my ears. I pay attention staying quiet. I'm ready, how about you? Are your eyes watching? Check. Ears listening? Check. Is your mouth quiet? You are ready to go. Read those directions to me. Let's make sure we do the scientific All experiment right. correctly. Step one, start by putting the funnel into the balloon. This makes it easier to get baking soda into the balloon. Ooh. Okay. Pretty good, huh? Step two, we're Wait. going to put... I haven't done it yet. Six teaspoons oh, of baking soda into our balloon. Two. two. That's a lot of baking soda. Get in there. Look, it doesn't want to go. We'll shake it. Go, baby, go. It might take a while. Three. Three. Oh, I see what I need to do. Go down the side. Four. Four. Can you see it? Five. Five. Last one. And six. Six. That took a little longer than I thought it would. Okay. Next step says to pour some vinegar into your bottles. I think I'm going to use this bigger funnel. I think that's a good idea. Our vinegar is the liquid. I'm going to pour it. You I can hear it. Not too much. That much? Yeah, that was good. I'm going to do this one too in case we do it. Whoa! Twice. twice. Okay. This next step says it's tricky, so let's make sure we're listening carefully. Place the opening of the balloon around the water bottle. Try not to let any of the baking soda into the bottle. Check. Mm. Okay. I did it. Now it says, I wonder Wait. what do you think is going to happen when the baking soda does get into the bottle? I don't know what do you think is going to happen. Sorry. I just took this and I put it, I was thinking like ahead. I know I'm making a bit of a mess. Sometimes that happens with science, but maybe I wasn't listening because I thought, you know, it'd be really fun if we did this once and liked it. To do it again. It would be fun to do it again, so I'm going to do it again real quick. Sorry, Miss Katie. Okay. I'll be a better listener. Let's put this in here. Okay. Okay. Ask those important questions one more time. So right now the baking soda is here and the vinegar is inside. What do we think will happen when the baking soda mixes with the vinegar? I don't know. Are you ready to find out? I don't know. Okay. When we're ready. When we're ready for the magic, it's time to lift the balloon and let the baking soda fall into the bottle of vinegar. I, this is so exciting for me. So I would like for you all to do a little bit of drum, drum roll. roll. Yes. And then I want you to count too. Katie, you do the drum roll and I'll count. At the count of three, we're going to lift the balloon. Ready? One, One two, two, three. three. Whoa! Oh, 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 oh. Look at the balloon. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Oh, look what's inside it. What is that? It's a state of matter. It is gas. Gas. Whoa. I love it. And it made our balloon blow up. So the gas is being caught in the balloon. That's right. In its container. I'm afraid that balloon, surely it won't bust. I don't think so. I love it. And look at all the bubbles in there. Look at all that gas. That was cool. That was very Should cool. Should we do it one more time? Yeah, I think okay. so. I'm right. wondering if it will do the same thing. I wonder what would happen if we put salt in there. I wonder if salt would do yeah. anything. That's an ex an experiment waiting to happen. Katie, do you want to do it this time? I'll do the oh drum roll. Ready? One, two, three. Whoa. That is a magic balloon if I've ever seen one. I love it. We didn't even have to blow it up. It blew it up by itself. Look in this one. You can see the bubbles in the balloon. Can you see that? I uh, may have been talking too loud. Could you hear it? I heard it. They probably could. Yeah. I heard it. <laughs> Sorry, I got so excited. But you can really see that in there, too. I love it. What would happen if you shook it? Just make some more bubbles. Yeah, not a whole lot. That's kind of cool. So we could see it. We could hear it. I could smell the vinegar. I don't I'm really want to taste, taste it. it. And I could touch it. I can touch the balloons. We really used our five senses with that yeah. one. I can really feel that the balloon is full of air, too, because now when I squish it, 
feel like there's something inside. Mm -hmm. if, when you had your regular balloon that there's had nothing in it. Yeah, it didn't squish or anything. That was a super cool science that experiment. Was it was cool. kind of fast. But we had all of our stuff together. Next time I'll be a little bit more careful and not make a mess. Um, I loved exploring states of matter with you. We had a solid, we had a liquid, liquid. and then at the end, the we had our gas. That was totally cool. That was cool. Good job, Katie. For an experiment using the states of matter. Let's go through them again. We have solid, which can be hard. It keeps its size and keeps its shape, kind of like a car or a ball. Mm -hmm. We also have liquid. It's wet. You can pour it. It keeps its size, but not its shape, kind of like water. Exactly. And then we have gas, which has no shape. It floats in the air and it's hard to see. It fills a container. Now, with this experiment, we are only going to use a liquid and a solid. But the neat thing about this experiment is that this state of matter is going to change. So we are going to take a liquid and we're going to change it into a solid. And then later, you can try and change that solid back into a liquid again. Now, to make this even more fun, I went out in my yard and I got some nature items. Um, these are things that an adult may need to help you with, but we'll show you how I did it first. Um, here is your plastic container. Your plastic container needs to be one that it's okay to put in the freezer. So you'll have to ask an adult for help with that. This one's an okay one, it's an old one, and I have a lid for it, which I wanted to make sure I had a lid to keep my liquid in the container. Then I went outside and I Got an azalea blossom bloom. That's a pansy flower, isn't it gorgeous? A stick, looks like a rock, but it's actually mulch. A rock, how did I know that's a rock? Drop it, Katie bud. Woo, you can hear it. And I also got a piece of my fern outside. Now, before you find some nature items, you wanna make sure that you check with an adult that it's something that you can pick. Um, when my kids were little, we also put toys in these things. So I would get the little people. Um, or a Lego man. Yeah, or a Lego man would be perfect in this. Once again, ask an adult what toys are okay to put into liquid. All right, so first thing you wanna do is you wanna pour that liquid into your container. About three quarters of the way full, but not all the way to the top, but pretty close. Then you wanna put your nature items in the bowl. Let's watch and see what happens to Woo! What happened to that stone or the rock? Did it sink or float? You're right. It sunk all the way to the bottom. That rock was a solid. What did, did you put in that time? The stick. Oh, it's right here floating at the top. Oh, the stick floats. There goes the fern. It seems to want to float too. There's a lot of floaters. There's the pansy flower. <laughs> Pops right up, doesn't Ooh, it? Looks pretty. Uh -huh. And the azalea blossom. Going right in there. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Now we're gonna take our lid right over here and we're gonna put it on top and make sure it's totally closed. Katie's going to take, actually, she's going to hand it to me, and I'm going to put it in my freezer over here. Now, this will not freeze right away. Tomorrow, we're going to pull it out, and we're going to see how it changed. Can't wait to see you. All right, we're back. We're back. 24 hours later, or the next day, you need to get that container out of the freezer. <gasps> Whoa. Wow. Feel it, Katie. How is it different from yesterday? I don't hear anything moving around or see anything moving. No. Can you Do pour you it? Do you think you can pour it? Let's see. <gasps> I 
it's not pour. pour. So it must not be a liquid anymore. It has shape. It's not floating in the air, so we definitely know it's not a gas. Hmm. Let's look at solid. Can be hard. Is that one hard? Yeah. Ooh, it's hard now. Is it keeping its size? Yep. Yeah, it's the same size. Is it keeping its shape? How do we find out that? I guess we have to take it out of the container and see. Go for it. Whoa. That's right. So, our liquid has now changed into a solid. Isn't that cool? There's that. There's the rock. Mm -hmm. And the stick. Did it sink? No, there's two. Yeah, let's see that rock. Here's there. the stick. Ah, right and do you see? The top. Yeah. And the flower that we put in there. And the fern. All those things are still in there. Isn't that cool? Ooh, now, cool. here is your job. We have changed a liquid into a solid, but now I want you to turn that solid back into a liquid. Do you have any ideas of how you can do that? Hmm. Maybe Katie does. Well, before we do, say your idea out loud so we can hear it. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh, that's a good idea. Did you hear the one where they said that you could put your hands around it and see if it'll melt? Ooh, it's cold. Ooh. But my hands do feel wet. I can feel it turning back into a liquid. Yeah. Any other way that we can maybe melt it? Mm, maybe if we put it around something warm, like in the sunshine. That's a good idea. So you might want to take yours outside. Uh, any other ideas? Mm, I don't know. When you get out of the bathtub, what do you put around you to keep yourself warm? Ooh, a towel. Yeah, I think I heard somebody a minute ago mention putting a towel around it. So you might want to put a towel around it. That'll protect your hands a little. Now, I've had some friends take... Um, like a plastic tool or something. Let's see if I have anything in the kitchen. Oh, wait a minute. Here's an idea. I had a wooden spoon. Maybe I could... That would be definitely an outside thing. So you might try around, see what you have at home. That's not really helping much. But maybe when it starts to melt a little bit, you can bang on it. Um, if we went outside, could I throw it on the driveway? Very carefully. Very carefully. I could. Okay. I, I guess it depends on what's inside it too. So you can do all kinds of things to see if you can make this solid turn back into a liquid. Excellent job. Hey, thanks for doing this experiment with us. I hope you have fun and you can make all kinds of ice things yourself at home. Have fun. It's Miss Sarah from Auburn Day School and Miss Katie. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for learning about states of matter with us. Let's go over it one more time. There are three states of matter. What's the first one, Miss Katie? Solid. A solid can be hard. It keeps its size, size. and it keeps its shape. Kind of like a ball. And we use our five senses with it. We could see it. We can hear it. We can smell, smell it. it. We didn't taste it. Don't want to yeah. taste it, but we can touch it. I love that. Our next state of matter is liquid. A liquid is wet. You can pour it. It keeps its size, but not its shape. Kind of like the vinegar from our experiment. That's right. And our third one is gas. Gas has no shape. It floats in the air. It's hard to see, and it fills a container. Kind of like steam or smoke. You remember when we lit that candle and then we blew it out and you could see the smoke? smoke? We did a lot of fun things today to explore our three states of matter. You can do some of those at home. You can do our dancing raisins experiment. You could. Or, or you could do the magic balloon experiment. Mm -hmm. Or you can even change things from liquid to solid using the freezer making your own ice sculptures. Wow, that's kind of cool. They can be scientists at home. Mm -hmm. If you're feeling energetic, you can play our what's the matter game. Mm -hmm. Oh, and you can also use a what's the matter box and quiz other people in your house and see if they can identify the states of matter. And we can sing our States of Matter song. Can't forget about the song. Yeah. Hey, we're so glad you came today. Thanks so much for spending time with us. And we hope to see you again next week when we learn more about 
change. Thank you.